Hey guys, Coach Hunter here with McKenzie helping me out today. Uh, today I got a question uh, via instant messenger saying that um, if you want to know about fakes and faints or fainting. So um, I wanted to kind of address that in one of these videos here. Uh, you know, fainting and faking is at one side really easy and also really hard. The easy part is that it's a very small thing to do, okay? Uh, by its nature, a faint needs to be a movement that is misdirective and is not so large that it actually opens you up for a, uh, a counter opportunity or it compromises your defense, okay? Uh, that said, it's difficult because you have to consciously at first mix this in to your movement, to your attacks. Um, when people are new, they're all kind of, the pattern is almost always going to come directly in, I'm sure what I mean. So if you can't deny your sparring, right? Step back a little bit. When I'm ready to come in, people come in and they just start attacking, right? Whatever they're doing. Okay. So every time you move, my opponent knows, says a real thing. Whatever I'm doing, it's a real movement, a real attack. A feint is just taking some kind of movement that gives them a false impression, right? See how she went to parry, right? You can use that, come in, right? You can use the same thing on the other way, getting the top to land other strikes, okay? So I'll go through a couple of methods. One of the easiest ways to learn how to faint is with the jab, okay? So we have just a quarter jab, right? It's a hand fake. My hand's coming out and we did a quarter of the distance. That way, if Mackenzie were to throw her right hook at me, I still be able to get my hand back and cover, so I'm not compromising my defense, but it might sell that movement, okay? A shoulder fake is my shoulder turning through. Okay, that could be a hook, it could be a straight, it doesn't matter, okay? Sometimes a little fist pump up here is enough. Or with the other hand, okay, one hand, the other hand. Head fake, my head comes forward a little bit, right? We also could do things like, well, silly, go reach over there, right? Silly, but it can work. Okay? With the legs, you think about turning my hip, that sort of motion, I'll show up from this side. See it, like that little hip turn, like I'm gonna throw a kick, okay? That little, little movement, okay? It has to be small. Okay, so Mackenzie's holding for jabs. Yeah. Right? So, we can think about fainting and faking, right? I'm gonna for the real jab, and then a fake jab, and then a real jab, right? Faint, in. Think in, okay? Think about up, in, okay? So we're moving around. Mackenzie holds with a jab. She won't know if it's a real or a fake. My goal is to get her to do this. Paw at a fake jab, right? She's moving around. Ah, there we go, right? See, the thing is she knew it was gonna happen. But it's really hard, right? You, there's not enough time to read that movement all the way, okay? So if you have a partner, just work holding and see if you can get your partner to swing at something that's fake, okay? That's how you know you sold it right. If I make it too small, she won't react, right? It's not enough. Okay, if I make it too big, I'm basically throwing a bad jab, okay? It's too, uh, I'm opening myself up too much for something that isn't real, okay? So even your shadow box comes back up. One thing we can do if we're shadow boxing, we're moving around. Think about our fists as well as real strikes. Okay. Just gonna play with it. See what you can make come up with. Obviously, you don't get the live feedback if you have a partner, but that's something we can do. Okay. We get into other fainting and faking methods as we go along through my uh, the lessons here, but uh, I think that's a great way to start. All right, guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions with this. Uh, any other methods you may think you want to try? If you have questions about? Please send them directly to me, post them in the student group, or comment on the videos when we post them. All right, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I'll see you on the mats.